Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, I'm approaching the Martha Bray Overhead Bridge in the parish of Trelawney. Now, in the past, there has been a lot of accidents resulting in fatalities at this bridge. And here is the reason. A lot of persons, even though they are heading to Montego Bay, they drive in the left lane. The left lane is for persons heading into Falmouth or going to Marterbury direction. By the time some persons reach at the bridge, they realize that they are in the wrong lane. So they swerve right and sometimes this results in an accident. Now, if by chance that happened to you, do not panic. Just continue driving. Go down and when it's safe to do so, cross over the road. Then drive back up onto the main road. Alright, so you don't have to panic. Just go down, then go back up onto the main road. So we are heading to Montego Bay. Continue to sit back. Continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, today we have a jam-packed video for you. The final story that I'm going to be bringing today. Two men, well, one of them was a hoodlum. So, a man, a hoodlum and a woman were killed in the Burn Savannah area of Westmoreland. I'm going to give you the full story. I'm also going to give you some details about a man who is charged for the killing of that hoodlum. He's in jail and something happened in jail. Stand by for that. But, first have you seen this video i've dropped the entire video over on patreon because it's too grimy for youtube i can't show it over here the incident took place in the vicinity of the cumberland high school in portmore on thursday afternoon june 15 about 2 30. a 16 year old cumberland high school student he was attacked and seriously wounded by students and some other guys a 14-year-old student named Joel Farbs and his 19-year-old brother named Oshien Farbs, both of Power Lane in Newlands area of Portmore, they have surrendered to the police and they are facing charges. Now, I am hoping to have a conversation with someone who was involved in this incident. If and when I do that, I'll be bringing it to you so we can have a better understanding as to exactly what took place stand by for that we are told that the 16 year old youngster who was attacked he was released from hospital yeah man he was released now this incident it took place yesterday afternoon friday june 16 about some minutes after one o'clock it took place in front of a shop on ricketts street in savannah lamar in the parish of westmoreland we are learning that a man he's called jason and he's an air conditioned Technician, he's living in the CM Rickett Street area. We are learning that Jason, he was walking along the road near to his home when he was confronted by a hoodlum who was armed with a gun. It is said that the hoodlum, he fired several shots at Jason who ran off towards his house. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. It was then realized that Jason, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to his right armpit. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, eight 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, on Thursday of this week, I carried a story about that man on your screen. His name is Akeem White, but he was popularly known as Russian. He celebrated his 27th birthday just last month on May 24. Russian, he was a taxi driver and he lived at 8 West in the Greater Portmore area. I told you that on Tuesday afternoon, June 13, about some minutes to 2 o'clock, Russian, he stopped his red and white Toyota Isis motor car. He came out of the vehicle and he was standing beside it when a hoodlum walked up to Russian, pulled a gun and pumped several bullets into him 
This was done in the full view of some primary school students and some vendors who were selling on the outside. Russian, he was killed on the spot. The hoodlum, he then jumped into a waiting motor vehicle, making good his escape. So, this is what we are learning. Russian, like many other guys who run taxi, he was involved in an intimate relationship with a high school girl. He was warned to leave that girl alone. It is said that the father of the girl is well known. He is in prison serving a sentence for murder. That father is from the Portmore area. It is said that recently, Russian, he recorded the girl, giving him oral sex and circulated the video. The father, who is in prison, we are told that he was told about the video and he sent out the orders. As a result, Tuesday, June 13, Russian was killed. Just like that. Now, this next incident, it took place early yesterday morning. Friday, June 16, about 2 o'clock. It took place at 135 Darling Street, popularly known as Charlene, in the Savannah Lamar area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, that guy on your screen, his name is Dominic Paisa, but he was popularly known as Bashi. On February 21, earlier this year, Bashi, he celebrated his 20th birthday. He lived at Charlene. We are told that Bashi and his family, they were at home fast asleep when hoodlums pried open a window to the back of the house. The hoodlums entered the house, woke up Bashi, had a short conversation with him, then put a gun to his head and squeezed three times. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Bashi, he died on the spot. Now, in this next incident, Hoodlums went for the son. They not only killed the son, they also killed his 60-year-old mother. It took place Thursday evening, June 15, about some minutes after 6 o'clock. It took place at Bobman Hill in the Lilliput area of St. James. We are learning that residents of the area, they reportedly heard gunshots being fired, so they called the police. When the police went and made checks, a guy, his name is Romario Bromfield, but he was popularly known as Maro. He is 27 years old and he was living at Randell Hill in the same Lilliput area. Maro, he was found on his back next to the perimeter fencing. He had gunshot wounds to his feet and his upper body. He appeared to have died on the spot. Further checks were made and Maro's mother, Miss Vernice Blackwood, she was popularly known as Miss Vern. She celebrated her 60th birthday on April 13. She was a dressmaker and she lived at the house. She was seen lying on her right side on a back veranda of the house. She had gunshot wounds to her upper body. She too appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, 10, 5.56 and 4 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So, in this case, the hoodlums, they caught Kwaku. They killed Kwaku, but they also killed him shot. Got it? The mayhem. Now, in this next incident, it took place early this morning. Saturday, June 17, about 2 o'clock. It took place at Unity Crescent in the Farm Hill area in the Greenpan area of St. James. We are learning that a man, his name is Jonathan Bryan, but he was popularly known as Spangy. He is 53 years old and he was said to be a mason. We are also learning that that guy on your screen, his name is Christopher Nickel, but he was popularly known as Ninja or Chris. He was shot and killed when rival in hoodlums traded bullets. It took place Wednesday night, June 14, about 8.30 at Farm View in the CM Greenpan area of St. James. It is said that Ninja is Spangy's nephew. So, Spangy, he and his common law wife, they were fast asleep in their one bedroom board house when a gang of about 10 hoodlums kicked off both the front and back doors for the house. 
they were armed with M16 rifles and handguns. The hoodlums, they instructed Spangy to sit down in a settee and then they asked him a few questions. They then shot Spangy at point blank range, killing him on the spot. Luckily, they did not harm Spangy's common law wife. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the area. The police were called and when they inspected Spangy, he had gunshot wounds to his head, his feet and his upper body. When the police processed this crime scene, three 5.56, two 9mm and two 45 spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, we are working on some stories that we are going to carry in tomorrow's video. A guy popularly known as Rollout, he was shot and killed in front of the Savannah Lamar Hospital early this morning. A guy was also shot and wounded in the Savannah Lamar Market early this morning. And a 17-year-old male student, he was shot and killed at Green Pond in St. James early this morning as well. Those stories and more will be coming up in tomorrow's video. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, and you're going to want to listen this one to the very end. Trust me when I tell you, you know, say, one day, I'm going to start writing some movie scripts based on some of these real life events. Listen this now. That guy on your screen. His name is Ian Johnson, but he was popularly known as Chinese Man. Chinese Man, he celebrated his 29th birthday on Valentine's Day, just gone. February 14. Chinese Man was a hoodlum and he lived at Prospect District in the Burn Savannah area of Westmoreland. Yes, I did say Chinese Man was a hoodlum. We are told that Chinese Man. He made his living by collecting extortion money from some guys in the area who were or who are chopping the line. Chinaman, he was also said to be a rapable. In fact, we are told that Chinaman, he was wanted by the police for a rapable case. It is also said that Chinaman, he had a tendency to be pushing up himself and touching females on their private areas, especially when he was drinking. Early yesterday morning, Chinese man did just that. Hear this now. A man named Chert Fletcher. Chert. Yeah, man. Chert Fletcher. He is 45 years old and he's living in the Burn Savannah area of Westmoreland. His daughter, who is probably in her early 20s, she was hosting her birthday party at a shop in the Prospect area. Chinese man, he was at the party and it is said that he was drinking heavily. A female named Vivian Brown. She was also at the party. We are told that Vivian and the girl who was keeping the party, they are good friends. It is said that Chinese man who was under him liquor, he started fondling Vivian. Vivian, she didn't take kindly to what Chinese man was doing, so she boxed him in his face. Some of Vivian's friends who were at the party, they pulled her out of the shop. Chinese man, he was still in the shop behaving badly. Church Fletcher, the father of the female who was hosting the party, he spoke to Chinese man and told him to cool it. It is said that Chinese man, he started to flip up on Church. Things got physical and both of them boxed each other. We are told that Chinese man, he ran out of the shop and said, It's alright, wait till me come back. A few moments later, Chinese man, he was seen returning to the shop. He walked up to church, but church was ready. Chinese man, he was in the process of pulling a weapon out of his waist when 
shirt, pull the machete, and take off the lower section of Chinaman's right hand. You got that? The lower section of Chinaman's right hand was taken off clean, clean. It was then realized that it was a machete that Chinaman was pulling because that section of the right hand dropped aground with the machete. Chinaman, he ran out of the shop, but Chert ran him down and deal with him grimy with the machete. Chinaman received chop wounds to his head and his face. Now, some persons who were nearby, they intervened and they held onto Chert. The police were quick on the scene and they took Chert into police custody. Chinaman was also rushed to the Southern Alamar Hospital, but it was too late. He was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Keep listening, because guess what? You're not here, not yet. So, the police, they commenced investigation. One of the persons who gave the police a statement was Vivian Brown, the 20-year-old female who Chinaman did a feel up. She gave the police a written statement, and we are told that Chert Fletcher, he also gave the police what is called a caution statement. Chert, he was charged for murder. Now, remember I told you that Chinaman was a hoodlum? Listen to this now. That man on your screen, his name is Michael Robert Jans, but persons call him Robert. He celebrated his 51st birthday last week, Sunday, June 4. Robert was a furniture maker and an upholsterer. He lived at Bark District in the Burns Savannah area in the parish of Westmoreland. Well, Robert and 20-year-old Vivian Brown, they were involved in an intimate relationship. So, Vivian, she went to the police station yesterday and gave them a statement. She returned home in the afternoon. About 4 o'clock, Gunshots were heard being fired at the back of Robert's house. Shortly after that, a hoodlum was seen running from around the back of the house. Persons in the area, they made checks and they saw both Vivian and Robert. They were lying on the ground with gunshot wounds to their heads. The residents, they rushed with both Vivian and Robert to the Seven Alamar Hospital where Robert, he was pronounced D-E-A-D and Vivian, she was admitted in a serious condition. But Vivian, she did not make it. She died moments later whilst she was being treated. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. Remember I told you that Church Fletcher, he was in police custody. I also told you that Chinaman, he was a hoodlum. Well, it is suspected that it was one of Chinaman's cronies who carried out the killing. We are also learning that yesterday afternoon, Church Fletcher, he was attacked and stabbed by at least two of Chinaman's cronies who are also in police custody. He survived, but it is said that hoodlums in jail have vowed to kill him. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Chiba!